Hey class, so for this part, we are going from ZBrush to Maya, and we're going to retopologize our decimated model in Maya. So there's a few steps. Um, basically, we want to use our existing low poly model that I made in Maya before, wherever it makes sense. Then for models that had more complicated or more drastic changes in ZBrush, I'm going to show you how to retopologize that. So first, we're going to make a live surface from that model piece and then use quad draw from the modeling toolkit. Let's get started. Okay, so we are back in Maya. We have our low poly mesh hidden, our original Maya high poly mesh is hidden, and then here are all the individual pieces that we brought in in the last video. Some of them are decimated and some of them are not. Our goal is to create a low poly mesh that is very close in scale to our high poly mesh that we can use in Substance Painter as a basis for our bakes. So that's the goal. Um, I do think it'll be easier if we take all of our high poly and put them on their own layer. So that's under the channel box layer editor. Um, create a layer from selected. Rename it. I'm going to call it decimated. And also for our low poly mesh, which I had hidden, I am going to put this on its own and call this low. And this one we just don't really need to see. Okay, so when we're creating our low poly versus our high poly mesh, it's really important to look at um, our high poly and try and match the positioning of the low poly to the high poly as much as possible. So this low poly would need to go over just a tiny bit more so that you can see it's um, very close to the high poly. And for this piece, the high poly and the low poly are actually very close in polygon count. I would almost just use this high poly. In fact, I think I will. I'll use this high poly in place of the low poly. So I'm just gonna, um, might as well drag this into the old group that I don't need and rename this one underscore low. So that's that piece. All right, the next piece will be the straps. So right now, these low poly straps are actually quite close in some places to the high poly straps. So let's see, these are the low and these are the high. So these high poly straps would actually be a very good candidate for retopology because they're close, but not that close. I could go in and, oops, I could go in and move some of these vertices so that they're closer. That actually is a good option. Or I could re topologize it using quad draw. So let's just keep looking at the next pieces and then we'll make a decision. For the eyes, um, I accidentally smoothed the lower um, subdivision level of the low and then Maya crash. So I'm going to live with this um, smooth version of the low res. It's slightly higher polygon, so it's probably not 100% optimized, but um, just going to have to live with it. And I'm just going to make sure that the low and the high match up only by adjusting the low. Um, so I can solo these by pressing this little button. And then it looks like I just need to drag my low res version to the right a tiny bit. And that's easy to do. 
Our next piece is the backpack base. So let's take a look at this low resolution version. I think I made the higher resolution version a little wider, so I'm just gonna adjust this and look at it from all sides to make sure that it's pretty close. Yep, that's fine. The only other piece that I'm a little worried about are these corners. So you can see in my backpack base high, there's a lot of beveling on these corners. So I'm gonna solo this low res piece. I am going to select these corner edges and bevel them. This one. Sorry, my mouse is just not working for me right now. And bevel. For a fraction, I'm going to do like 0.3 and do two segments. Now, keen eye observers will realize that this is not, um, this ha now has end gons on these faces. So I'm going to use my multi-cut and just um, cut these so that my edges are nice and all my faces are quads. There we go. Okay, I also think I need to add um, some edges here. So just one on this side and the side at 50%. And that way I can adjust down this middle, actually all, both of these, a tiny bit. Just to get that roundedness of the high res. And basically we're just trying to get our low poly as close to the high poly as possible. Okay, um, one more thing. When I added the additional cuts on the front side, I didn't add them to the back side of this. So I need to somehow solo these without soloing. There we go. The faces on the back here. So let's solo. There we go. Now I can multi cut again. Click and click. and click sweet so now if i run my cleanup tool i will not have any end gons and then in the interest of adjusting this so it's even closer to the high poly mesh i'm going to solo again and just keep adjusting these pieces until they make more sense and get very close with the other piece I'm also just kind of looking around all over um, to make any adjustments I can see. There's a little bit of an adjustment, I think, on this edge on the back of the bag. If I just pull this out, that'll make be closer to. Okay, so I think that's good for that piece. Now let's take a look at our nose. Um, for this piece, we definitely want to move it over so that it's closer. And then I'm just adding a few extra um, edges, which I believe I added in that original high poly version. So I um, thought it was a good idea to add that back. And I did actually um, delete some of my Maya high version. So just recreating that here. Now let's move on to the meat of this video, which is quad draw and retopology. Quad draw is a tool where you can draw on a live surface and create a newer low res surface that closely follows the original topology of the high res model. So for what I mean, let's go to our owl top high. And I'm going to solo this. 
and you can see that it's got all of that um, decimation detail mixed in. And what I'm trying to do now is turn this into a live surface. So let's click on this. Click this tiny little magnet button and that means that it is now a live surface. I'm going to turn on symmetry. Hopefully object X will work. And now I'm going to go to my modeling toolkit which you can access here if you don't um, see it already on your screen. And in the modeling toolkit on the bottom is Quadra. Now what's great about Quadra is down here there's some options for keyboard mouse shortcuts. And it basically tells you you're going to use your left mouse button to drop dots. And then you're going to press shift and left mouse button to create geometry between those dots. Now with quad draw, the idea is to drop four dots on your surface. So one, two, three, four. And then hold down shift while hovering over these dots and it will make a surface connecting those four dots. Um, I'm going to go somewhere close to the center here. And hold down shift again. We get close and then try and get the centerpiece. Okay, let's try that one more time. Get very close to the center here. And then hold down shift. And you can see it's getting close. And it connects in the center here. I'm going to move these edges just by clicking and dragging with my left mouse button. And then drag two more dots here. Click and click and drag. Now I don't think my model is 100% symmetrical so that's definitely something I'm going to have to wrestle with. Um, if you press tab and the middle mouse button, you can extrude a whole line of objects. So that's nice for you to quickly cover surface. So that's tab and middle mouse button. Again, you kind of have to be careful with this. But you can see really quickly, this is a great way to create a lot of geometry in big areas. Um, for curved corners like this, I'm going to add, let's see, one, nope, I'm going to add like closer corners. Now, dealing with this symmetry is a little tough. You want to make sure that, there we go. Oh, nope. Here. And then I'm going to add corner here, here, Let's just grab this and move it up. Okay, so there are ways to relax the edges. So relax is shift and left mouse button and just drag. So I do shift, left mouse button, see how it kind of relaxes these. It works a little too much in my opinion, but if it's good for small areas to try and soften these, any extra edges. Nope. And the idea is just to draw over and make a brand new mesh for the surface. And so in general, um, I'm just going to speed this up massively while I try and finish this. I just need to create that other side. But in general, Quadra is really useful for organic figures. So your characters, um, etc. For big kind of surfaces like this, it's really not the best use of it. I probably should have done the straps. I just kind of was running out of time. But hopefully this gives you an idea of Quadra and then I'll show you a few um, 
and include a few links of videos that really make good use of quad draw for um, some characters. So definitely keep that in mind. And once you turn off um, symmetry and turn off the live surface, you can just move this just as you would any other surface or any other vertice. So now I'm just using my cleanup tool to try and fix any um, end gones that I have. Just getting rid of an extra edge and making some adjustments on these little vertices. But I do recommend checking out any one of the great time lapses or tutorials on Quadra on Maya. Um, this Create 3D Characters has some really good ones on YouTube that I recommend checking out. Okay, now that we are getting there with all of our different surfaces, um, I want you to finish up retopologizing each of them. Um, make sure that you have a good, solid, low poly mesh. We also need to UV it, so please see my earlier video on UVing. Um, and then I'm going to show you how to export your low poly model into Substance Painter, and then um, bake the high poly model onto the low poly model and get ready for um, painting. So if you haven't UV'd yet, check out the earlier UV video and um, otherwise you can move on to the next portion.